Vino. 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 We are drinking Vino in the Q studio with Brad from Brown Derby. It's drinking one on one. Our special guest Shadow is in here taking <laughs> more wine than we are and <laughs> plastic cups. Because we're talking about red blends are really hot right now. They're very hot. Go ahead. They're very hot because a lot of people, different people like different styles. So, yeah. you know, the, the red wine drinker in general, whether they're drinking Cabernet or Merlot or Pinot Noir, they can enjoy a red blend because it's not too one way or the other. It's kind of depending on the style. You know, depending on if it's made with Cabernet Merlot or depending on if it's made with Zinfandel or Syrah, the main factors okay. and taste profiles. If you don't know if you like a red blend or you think you might just be a Merlot person or a Cab person, you can go to the Brown Derby Wine Center and ask them uh, to try a blend or to learn about them and they Absolutely. can help you there as well. Or watch our video at Q102.fm or live on our YouTube channel, Q102, and learn all about it with us. Uh, I have a question for you. Okay. The proper way to really know if you like a wine, are you supposed to... And we're all swishing and sniffing and like and you, you should have you have good yeah. yeah. How do you do it? Right. <laughs> um, really, it's very simple. I was taught a long time ago by somebody in the wine business that knew a heck of a lot more about it than I did. But there was just the Y scale, and I looked at it like, well, what's the Y? It's, it's yuck or yum. I don't care if it's a hundred bucks or ten bucks. If you swirl it, sniff it. You know, those things all matter to get aromatics and do, but the main thing is to enjoy what you, you know, okay. what you're drinking. Okay. And to know what you, you know, hopefully that when you go in and you ask the right questions and, and merchants have the right answers to direct you to get that style that you're looking for. Okay. But what does swirling do? It helps release the aromas a little bit better. These bigger glasses have bigger bowls, so it, it, you can get more surface area. The more surface area that wine can cover, the more it can release its flavors and aromas. And, but it does matter. Okay. But at the end of the day, if you have a cup, and you like it, drink it, good. enjoy it. All right, cool. Don't, don't overthink it. Don't make it too complicated. It's complicated enough. Mm -hmm. is what I say. Okay. Well, that's why we want to know about it. But it does matter. And if you want to go to that next step and just do the swirls and test the glasses and make sure. Uh, the best kept secret bar in Springfield is at the Brown Derby Wine Street. You can go in there and learn and taste some of their different things. But they always have uh, tastings on Saturday from noon to 4. Always. If you want to pop in and try some fun different things or maybe the things that we talk about here on the radio so that you can try it for yourself. I feel so bad. We're here drinking wine and they have to hear it. Yeah, you know, you can live vicariously through us, right? That's yeah, what you live for, right? That's how I, yeah, yes. Banshee, one of the hottest properties we have now. And in full disclosure, it's one of my best friends that's out in California. A hometown hero here that helps make this wine with his partners. Okay, uh, Springfield. From Springfield. Uh, and he's been out there and he makes really good wine. And what he's done, uh, he's gone out and secured some of the best fruit from these vineyards. Okay. Uh, that are hard to get and basically blended it together. This is a little bit more Syrah, predominantly okay. Syrah, versus this one's a little more Zen. However, this has Zen in it, and Levedra, and Grenache as well, so. Do you think this uh, wine we're drinking has people's feet in it? Yes, his. Spring, Springfield. There's a Springfield dude who has smashed the grapes with his toes, and we're going to drink it. So when we swear that, you get the toe jam a little bit. Uh, dude, I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. But out of everything you yeah, this is immediately really good. This has about another year in the bottle on it. It's an 09 versus these are 010, so it's got a little bit more time to develop and you get a little bit bigger. Does that really matter? Sure, okay. absolutely. Now, not all wine gets better with time. You can go the other way. Most wine is meant to be drank young, you know, not to be aged. There's a very small percentage of, of fine wine that's meant to be aged. Okay. But a year, year or two in a bottle on a premium wine like this, I mean, this is a $20 bottle of wine. Helps it fill out. Okay. You know, sometimes when you put wines in the bottle, they're called bottle shock. They kind of go into a funk. Okay. They kind of bring themselves back together. All right. Well, this one's really, really good. I like it. It's very fruity. It's very easy to drink. It's not um, too tart or too bitter, and then uh, and it doesn't leave your mouth too dry either. And it's got big giant legs, which I like. Big giant legs. Right? Yeah. You know, and it's got a little bit of alcohol in there. It's over fourteen percent, but it's not overbearing. Sometimes when you get something else or Syrahs that are over extracted, they can have too much alcohol. But I think all these have a very good balance. So. Well, even if that happens, I won't complain. Okay. Okay. Brad from Brown Derby, thanks for coming in today. Don't forget, you can try some of these wines and other things at the tastings at the wine center uh, from noon to four on Saturdays. Enjoy the weather, my friend. All right. Thank you.